Hey guys, Greg Gilman for The Wrap here, and in case you missed it, this week has been a crazy one for pop culture. Oscar-winning actor Philip Seymour Hoffman tragically passed away on Sunday, just a day after Dylan Farrell reminded the world of her sexual abuse allegations against Oscar-winning filmmaker Woody Allen. And on top of all that, we're still fixated on a walking, talking national crisis named Justin. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Congresswoman, let me interrupt you just for a moment. We've got some breaking news out of Miami. Stand by, if you will. Right now in Miami, Justin Bieber has been arrested on a number of charges. Ashton Kutcher may have replaced Charlie Sheen on Two and a Half Men three years ago, but he finally got the courage to stand up to his constant taunting while appearing on Jimmy Kimmel Live on Wednesday. Can I in a public plea right now with Charlie? Dude, shut the f*** up. <laughs> Seriously, like enough already. Like it's like three years later and you're still blowing me up on Twitter? The machine heard him loud and clear and quickly apologized. And then quickly threatened his life. Speaking of celebrity boxing matches, DMX has agreed to get in the ring with Trayvon Martin's killer, George Zimmerman. Listen, what? About to be missing. You know who gonna find you? Some old man fishing. And he's not just planning on boxing. DMX said that after he's done beating the living fuck out of him, he's going to whip out his dick and piss on him right in his Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Oh yeah, and uh, Miley Cyrus got naked again. <laughs>